I mean, I suppose I should clarify. I like Zack Snyder movies the way that I enjoyed the troll too. If, if anybody's interested in checking out that episode. Oh shit, man. You, uh, the gauntlet is now. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, most, if I'm watching a Zack Snyder movie, I'm actually having an okay time because there are, there are definitely enjoyable parts in it interspersed with moments of extreme rage. And the big thing I think that upsets me about Zack Snyder is I do not understand why he got, why he gets a pass. Like, I don't understand why everyone's talking about this justice league Zack Snyder cut Mm -hmm. because it's almost as if there's a complete memory wipe that this is the same man that gave us Superman versus Batman. And I don't understand how it's just okay that he did that. Like this is super Superman versus Batman. You're talking about Batman V Superman Dawn of Justice. If that's what it was called, I don't know. Yeah. But it was bad. Fucking bad, 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 bad. Like, and I know if if you are even the slightest uh Zack Snyder fan. If you think there's a chance that you might watch Superman versus Batman, you should probably pause or forward or do something right now. Did you see this movie? I did. Superman versus Batman. Now, to be fair, what, I'm a- what in the actual shit? Martha? Really? What the hell? Like, let me let me let me throw one thing at you. I, I got to right. interrupt for, for one thing. I'm, I'm looking at the filmography. As far as credits, he was only the director. He did not write that. Now, if no. your if your problem is with the direction, then that absolutely one hundred percent fits. All right, um, but he did not write the story behind it. That was done by someone else. Hold on. Yeah, okay, that was done by someone else. Well, he was, you- however, for Zack Snyder's Justice Justice League, he was director, producer, and co writer. Yeah, for Justice League. Well, what we'll call it Justice League, uh, the uh, the Snyder Cut, whatever it's called now. Hmm. So no writing on the Batman v Superman. None. No story by. Well, well no... technically, technically, uh, since he would essentially approve the script, in my humble opinion, anybody who approves the script and doesn't say anything, yeah, is complicit, especially in the shittiness. Director. Especially if you're the director and the entire, the entire course of the plot revolves around that one thing. The fact that, that Batman will not kill Superman all the way because their moms have the same name. That's the cheesy part. That's beyond cheesy. That is the stupidest fucking thing I've, I think I've ever actually seen in movies. Like, I mean, really there's shit in troll two that made more sense than that. Wow. You know, that is really, I I honestly believe that. I really think that that, that thing there is more ridiculous than anything I've seen in a really shitty movie. Yeah. Like, and you know, you're, you're worried. Sorry. No, it's okay. You're worried that, like, this, first off, they're both Batman and Superman are quasi fascist to begin with, right? So, like, Superman thinks he's got all the answers. Batman thinks he has all the answers. And of course, Batman decides that Superman can't be the only, can't be the guy who makes decisions for the world because he's a god. And, and so, this is one thing I was actually pleasantly surprised by is that that almost, and I stress the word almost, that almost worked as something that would get them to fight each other. But when you're worried about like saving the world from fascism, you know, your mom's first name is not going to be something that detracts you from your mission. (laughs) You know, like, I mean, I just can't imagine having. Yeah. It was, it was a really bad attempt at empathy uh, without a doubt. Yeah. Um, And uh, to put the exclamation point on this whole thing about like, if you're a director and you have a writer And you don't, you just kind of put your sort of complicit approval on it. It also wasn't his first rodeo. So it's not like he was like a new director. It's like, well, ah, you know, I'm going to like, you know, I just got this gig, so I'm going to play it safe and simple, you know? No, he could have actually probably put in some input to say, 
Yeah, Jesse Eisenman. Is it Jesse Eisenman? Is that his name? Uh, Played Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor, yeah. Let me make sure that's right. Jesse Eisenman? Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Horrible choice. Yeah. For casting. I mean, right. really? Yeah. 